on a circular track two cyclists abhijit and vani start moving in opposite directions from a point abhijit moves with constant speed vani starts with a constant acceleration from rest they meet again on the track with the same speed which of the following is correct abhijit traveled double the distance traveled by vani abhijit traveled half the distance traveled by vani abhijit traveled the same distance and abhijit traveled four third of the distance traveled by vani okay now see although they are saying that this is a circular track we have to consider it as as a case of linear motion only so we'll not be considering the centripetal force and all that stuff i mean we should be considering it but because the radius and all that stuff is not given and the circular track is usually very large in radius so at any instant we can think of both of them running in the straight line okay so let's first draw the circular track take it let's first draw the circular track like this okay uh they both are going to start from the same point let this be the initial position okay let this be the initial position suppose abhijit takes this path and suppose varni takes this okay abhijit moves with a constant speed let that constant speed be v not hmm? varni starts with a constant acceleration let that constant acceleration be a not let that constant acceleration be m they meet again on the track with the same speed see that this condition is also important they they will eventually meet because they are moving and they are traveling in the opposite direction and it is a circle but what condition additional additionally it is is it imposing they are saying they meet with the same speed okay see abhijit speed is anyways constant but they meet again on the track with the same speed means so vani when they meet also attains the same speed v not and that well we can write this then that v not is equal to a not into t because initial speed of vani was zero and because it has constant acceleration case v equal to u plus at is going to apply so this is the time when uh, both of them meet again somewhere here is that part clear ye ye condition is same speed ka condition isse liye hum logo ne wo use kiya yes have you people followed this yeah okay. yes sir now uh will will calculate the distance traveled by abhijit kaise nikalenge isko ye uniform motion hai let's call this distance by s okay let us call this distance by s and that will be v not into t okay distance traveled by abhijit S is equal to v not t, and how much is the distance traveled by Vani? Let's call it S. Let's call it S. Let's call this S v. This S v is equal to see. अभी आप S is equal to u t plus half a t squared लगा सकते हैं, right? So it's u t, but zero the initial speed is zero, so zero into t plus half a not t squared. करेक्ट एस वी इज इक्वल टू हाफ ए नॉट टी स्क्वायर अभी यहां पे ए नॉट टी इज वी नॉट तो आपने वी नॉट टी मतलब आपको वी नॉट टी लिखना है वहां पे बिकॉज ए नॉट टी इज वी नॉट दैट्स इट वी गॉट द आंसर ओके बिकॉज a not t is v not put that here 
but v naught is what v naught is sa so this is half sa which also means that distance traveled by abhijit is two times the distance traveled by clear abhijit traveled double the distance traveled by mani that's clear from this sa is equal to two times sp so which option is correct option a is correct okay now there is a similar problem which was asked in one of past j advanced papers okay which i have included in our list of problems so whenever we will solve the problem today itself post most likely then you will really understand the situation better and uh, we'll be immediately able to relate that problem with this one okay now i have one more question for you can you people tell me what is the angle between the initial radial position of the of abhijit and his final radial position initial to ye tha hai na initial was this what is the final position what would be the angle what will be i would say the angular displacement of abhijit yes is it possible to calculate that when they meet for the first time what will be the angular displacement of abhijit see one thing that we shouldn't be forgetting is that if you add the distances traveled by both of them Hmm. Then that total distance is going to be the circumference of the circular track. Raise your hands if you get that point. And because Abhijit is traveling double the distance traveled by Vani, right? He is actually covering two thirds of the circumference. In and and Vani is covering only one third of the circumference. So total becomes circumference two by three plus one by three one. Plus Abhijit is traveling tw twice the distance, so it's two thirds of the circumference. Now, one circumference is equivalent to three sixty degrees of angular displacement. Two thirds of that would be two forty. So, कुछ ऐसे दिखेगा आपको. Okay, it will look something like this. This is going to be two by three into two pi r, or rather two pi four pi by three or two forty degrees, and this is going to be one by three into two pi or one twenty degrees. Let me know if you understand that. Got it. गॉड इट तो ये भी पूछ सकते हैं प्रॉब्लम में एज एन एक्स्ट्रा इन्फॉर्मेशन वॉट इज द रेशो ऑफ द एंगुलर डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ अभिजीत एंड पॉसिबल एक्सटेंशन रेशो ऑफ एंगुलर डिस्प्लेसमेंट और आई शुड से दिस दैट इज Two by one, correct. Now, can you tell me what is the linear displacement of Abhijit? ये कल एक K V P Y का P Y क्यों किया था? तब ये problem किया था हम लोगों ने. In that time, at that time, it was very close to the half rotation, so we could easily calculate the circ the linear displacement. And even here, you can calculate it. Given the radius, you can easily calculate the position vector of this point. Okay, so this co, this se ye subtract kar do, fir uska magnitude nikalo, apko angular dis, uh, linear displacement bhi mil jayega. That means you begin to realize that repeatedly same situation is being viewed from different, I would say, 
परस्पेक्टिव मतलब वही सिचुएशन है वही बॉडी सर्कुलर मोशन कर रही है उसी का वेरिएशन बना के अलग अलग प्रॉब्लम्स वो बना रहे हैं समझ गए कि क्या किया वो अभिजीत का जो भी मोशन है उससे हम लोग उसका एंगुलर डिस्प्लेसमेंट भी निकाल सकते हैं उसका लीनियर डिस्प्लेसमेंट में निकाल सकते हैं एंड दैट लीनियर डिस्प्लेसमेंट वॉज एक्चुअली आस्ट इन वन ऑफ प्रीवियस एग्जाम्स ठीक है सो कैन एक्सपेक्ट सिमिलर क्वेश्चन इन अपकमिंग एग्जाम्स ऑल्सो But you need to be aware. You need to know your basics well. Then you can answer the questions easily.